It was a busy month, Braves fans. August was all about Acuna, alumni, and well, animals. Let's go. You asked, we got the answer. Player pets. Who has them, what kind, and what are their names? Let's get to know the animals that have stolen the hearts of your favorite Braves. Fans want to know, do you have any pets? I do. I have a 10-year-old, long-haired dachshund Aww. named Miley. Miley. Okay, so yeah. what's Miley like? Miley is the queen of the household, about this big, so she's easy to travel Tiny. with. Tiny. Yeah, I do have a fish. <laughs> you have a fish? What yes. kind of fish is it? It's a goldfish. White goldfish. A white goldfish. Okay, does it have a name? No. No name? I didn't call him no name. I just feed him every day and play with it a little bit before I come to the field you every day. And how do you play with your goldfish for just you? Just move my finger and she will swim <laughs> and keep going around my finger. Do you have any pets? I do. I had two English Bulldogs. One passed away this off season, oh. but yeah, Marv, he's, he was the best. So and now Rest Lucy. Peace, <laughs> and then Lucy is the other English Bulldog. They were like okay. little stumps that run around the house. They're so the best. Cute. Little ball of energy. She's an English Bulldog that is actually athletic somehow, and she <laughs> she drives me off the wall. Yeah, I have a black lab. Okay. I got it when I was in ninth grade. Mm -hmm. She had named Allie. She's, I want to say, eight. Right now, my, my mom, since I've been gone, they take care of her and mm -hmm. she's gotten big. So, and she also thinks she's, like I said, a lap dog, so she's a little bit too big for a lap Okay, so since you go away and then you come back and see her, what does she do when she sees you? At first, she's a little upset. She kind of like turns her nose at me, but as soon as she kind of realizes I'm home, she's all over me. And I kind of miss that. Fans want to know what players have pets, and I believe mm -hmm. you have a dog? I do. Okay, uh, so. Her name's Bentley. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's three now. Um, she's uh, like a border collie and greyhound mix. Mm -hmm. oh. So she's got yeah, she's got longer legs. She's pretty smart. She's a rescue, so she's a little like you know anxious and all that kind of stuff, especially around new people. Mm -hmm. um, but she's the sweetest. Like she's the best napper and cuddler the world's ever seen. She oh. really is. She really is. This month, we celebrated our Braves legends with our annual alumni weekend with so many greats like Phil Negro, Dale Murphy, Chipper Jones, and many more joined us for a weekend full of festivities. We kicked off the weekend with the alumni parade down Battery Avenue, hosted autograph stations throughout the ballpark, took selfies on the field, and of course, the home run derby. The Derby featured Team Francoeur with Dan Ugla and Johnny Estrada versus Team Brian Jordan that included Ryan Klesko and Andrew Jones, who battled it out until the very end. BJ took home the bragging rights this year, but I am sure the Team Frenchie will be back in 2020 for a rematch. August also marked a major milestone for Ronald Acuna Jr., who is now officially a member of the 3030 Club. Acuna is only the second MLB player to reach 30 home runs and 30 stolen bases before the age of 22. Acuna joins a small group of Braves that are also members of the 3030 Club, Hank Aaron, Dale Murphy, and Ron Gant. He's going. Pitch. A ball. The throw to second is way high. And Ronald Acuna Jr., welcome to the 30 30 club. Así que 30 30 para Ronald Acuna entrando al exclusivo círculo del 30 30. He joins Mike Trout as the second player in the history of the game with a 30 30 year before turning 22. And Ronald Acuna Jr. just became the first Brave with a 30-30 season since Ron Gantz. That's some pretty elite company. And who knows, maybe a reigning rookie of the year will make it 40-40 by the end of the season. Stay tuned, Braves fans. And finally, the 2020 schedule is out, and it doesn't disappoint. Our home opener will take place on April 3rd against the Marlins. A few highlights include the Boston Red Sox coming to Atlanta in May and a visit from the Los Angeles Dodgers in June. We're home on the 4th of July against Mike Trout and the Angels and close out the season with a matchup against the Astros.
And don't forget, a few of our furry friends are still available for adoption at Best Friends Atlanta. And Braves fans, get ready for an exciting September, and we need you right here at SunTrust Park as we prepare to battle to defend the East. So be here, be loud, and as always, chop on.